Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be telling you how to draw Among Us on Google Slides. So um, I realized that we haven't been doing many of those how to draw stuff on Google Slides, like real ones. We've done Google Slides stuff, but we haven't done how to do stuff on Google Slides. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to bring this back again. So let's get straight into this video. So our first step every single time is going to be click new slide and just remove these text boxes. And this is probably gonna be one of our easiest ones yet. Okay, so now that you have a blank background, a blank space, you can go to select lines. Click on curve and just start following what I am doing. So make a few clicks to make the thing start to curve. The Among Us shape is super easy, so it won't be too hard. It may take you a few tries. For me, when I actually need to make Among Us, then it took me, I think, two tries. But there's a good side about the curve. If you click on the line, then you can edit it. So to make it like perfectly good again, I'm just gonna um, kind of fast forward to the part where I'm already. After a little bit, um, this is where I got at. I kind of liked it. So um, right now it's not the perfect shape. So I will just make it a bit more skinnier and a bit wider and smaller. So this is kind of the shape I ended up with. I like it. I'm fine with it. It doesn't have to be perfect since you're not making like a nice Among Us. Like it's not it doesn't have to be professional. Um, like I do like perfection, but right now, um, I'm just going to show you a little bit step by step, like how you could basically do it. And, um, a reason that you might want to learn how to do this is because, um, maybe you want this red Among Us character, but you don't want this background and stuff. So, um, you might have to make it yourself. So it's kind of easier that way. So um, I think I'm just gonna go with a nice uh, color here. Let's just do a custom. Um, red is pretty nice. I think we'll go for a red. I would ask you guys which one you, which color would you would like me to do, but right now can't really see you guys. So um, I do like to do just a darker, darker version of the color for the uh, border but today um, because it's among us I'm gonna have to do black and a good size is eight if you're doing it like kind of small um let me just try a 12 12 and 8 are the two good recommended um kind of kind of uh things for the border so I'm gonna start on the glass part of the costume, since they're in space, they'll need to see too through their suits. And kind of just click, and um, I'm just gonna edit my uh, little glass thing a bit until I have what I really want. And I think this is pretty good. So I'm just gonna try and find a good color for um, the glass. And I think, I think this is the right color. Okay, and I'll make the border color. And I think I'll go for an eight here. Okay, so there is a bit of reflection in the, uh, in the glass so i'll make the reflection part um like you could mess up a few times because it might um go off the border it um when i was practicing like for my own like pre slide presentation then um that happened to me a few times it just like went through the border 
and then you you don't have enough time to crop it okay so this is it and then i might make it might find a color okay that's good and you do not want a border color for this or else it just looks strange i'm just gonna try and fit it in so they there are no gaps like i said before it doesn't have to be perfect okay so there is one part that's been missing okay so go to shapes and rectangle it's the little oxygen thing and um arrange order and send to back try to kind of like make it okay so when you think you've got it just go to fill color and make your when well, just add your custom color in Sometimes if you want a cooler effect, you would go to custom colors and click on custom again and then make it a bit darker to kind of give it that shade. And I think I'll go for eight. And um, try to make it look a bit normal. I think that's pretty good. And now um, we might need a pet or something um i might not do a pet or some yes accessories i was thinking about accessories so um like you don't have to add an accessory but i think um it's kind of necessary or something it's gonna rhyme there but so i'm just gonna make the ears thing like the little um teddy bear ears accessory So I'm going to add one here. I'm going to go to border colors, black, and make that, make that three, actually, because it's kind of small. And I'm not going to do the whole detail in it because it's kind of hard. So I'll make it kind of simple for this. And I'll just make it one solid color. Okay, so so I'm just gonna make the ears a little bit more bigger. Here and so they kind of look a bit loose to me. So I don't want it to look like that. And I'm just going to put it into the border. So it kind of looks like it's joining in. There. I think I like my ears now. Um, I'm just going to uh, change the color of this maybe to a brown. And then a darker brown for the back so it's like super simple to make this um like it barely took any time and a mini crewmate is also super duper simple so basically just grab out of thin air and lap all of this together click on arrange and group and just copy paste that make this a bit smaller okay and go to uh, arrange again for the only for the mini crewmate and click ungroup now um this border color is a bit too thick for it so it looks a bit weird and strange so we'll kind of like tone it down a bit and um, mini crewmates don't have accessories. And they have more of that roundish kind of look. And I'll just change the border um, thing to four. So that's basically how you make your mini crewmate. It's super simple. Um, yeah, that's basically what you have to do. If there's a specific thing you want me to do, like, I don't know,
um, a specific pet, like, I don't know, the dog, the hamster, um, any of those, or the green-eyed monster, I'll do that. Um, it was super simple to make this. The background, um, we'll just make it, like, gray. And um, another background trick that would look cool, go to gradient and custom. And then start this off at black. Add this. And just keep on like making it um, more like lighter every single time. And it'll just kind of look like it's starting to fade away. It's a trick that I've always been wanting to do, but I kept on forgetting. So I just decided to show it to you guys. And um, I wouldn't go to the like to white or anything. I just keep it at another gray. Um, I, I like to call it the gray scale trick. And okay, and that's basically how it looked. Um, another thing you would do is that you could change its rotation. You could do that, or you could change it to a 45 degree, 135 degree, 180. Basically, I was looking for a 180 degree, and it's kind of like black to like lighter grays so um like i said this was super simple and um what am i missing hmm <gasps> where did this come from oh oh yeah i forgot to tell you to like share and subscribe please like share and subscribe and i hope to see you next time Wait, oh my god, I forgot I wrote a paragraph. I hope you've learned how to make um, Among Us characters on Google Slides. Please comment down below what I should see, um, what you should be seeing in my next videos. So um, you might have noticed this, these little words floating around. They're like a little um, sentence kind thing. And I just put it together. It was like a last minute idea. And I was like, I thought it was cool. So I, and the scattering part um, is because I just couldn't get it like to stick right there. So um, liking plus subscribing equals to a fan. So if you want to be a fan, then you have to like and subscribe. Anyways, um, I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. One last little message I'd like to say is about um, it's about um the unicorn thing I was talking about on to make on slides. If you'd like to see it, then just please, please, please tell me if you'd like to see it down in the comment section below. Okay, see you next time. Goodbye.